Hi, for this video what I want to do is talk to you about finding a point estimate for the mean. Um, for this video I am going to use the TI-84 to help us find the mean. Uh, you could find the mean by hand or you could find the mean using Excel or any other calculator that you have, but for this specific video I am going to show you how to use the TI-84. So first, let's talk about what a point estimate is and why we use it. So a point estimate is a single value that we use to estimate a population parameter. So a lot of times when we're working in the real world, we don't know what the mean is. And so a lot of times we have to come up with an estimate. So let's say, for example, we were trying to find the migrational tendencies of black bears in the state of Florida. And we wanted to know how much they traveled. Well, it's impossible for us to study every single black bear that lives in Florida. So we might find a sample of size 20 and watch those 20 black bears, tag them, and see how far they migrate during a given year. Okay, so a lot of times, like I said, what we do is we use a point estimate to help us find those values. And it's because it's easier to study a sample than it is to study the entire population. So in order to find the point estimate for a population mean, all you have to do is find the sample mean. So after you found your sample of whatever you're studying, so if I go back to the black bears, I could look at those 20 black bears and see how much they traveled over the given year. Okay, so let's look at an example. A researcher is trying to determine the number of hours college student athletes spend per week on required athletic activities. A random sample of 30 college student athletes is selected and their time spent on required activities is recorded in the following chart. We want to find a point estimate for the mean amount of time spent per week on required athletic activities for all student athletes. So what we're looking for is we're looking for all student athletes in the conference and we're trying to figure out what is a valid point estimate for the mean, okay? So anytime that it tells you to find a point estimate for the mean, all that's telling you to do is find X bar. Okay, and so remember X bar is the sample mean, which means that we just have to add up all of our values that are in the table and divide by the number that are in the table. So in this case, we have 30. So if you wanted to do this by hand, all you would have to do is start somewhere in the chart and you could go down each column. So I could start with the 19 and then go down to the next two, to the 22 plus the 25. And I could continue in this pattern, continue adding the values until I get to the end, so 19 plus 23. And so instead of showing all of the work and showing all 30 values written out, this is the shorthand notation where you can use an ellipsis to say, hey, I'm just filling in all of the other values in between. And then we would divide this by 30. So in order to do this in your calculator, what you're going to do is you're going to take these values here. I already entered them in. I will show you how to get there and how to type the values, but so you didn't have to sit and watch me type in 30 values. I figured I would type them in beforehand. Okay, so I'm just entering this data. What we're going to do is we're gonna go into our calculator and to get to our list screen, all we're gonna do is hit stat and number one, edit. I always work in L1. If you happen to delete L1, all you have to do is hit the setup editor and enter, and it will bring it back, okay? So if you come in here and you're missing L1, that's how you can get it back. So I have already entered the values. You can see that I have 30 values in here. Um, in order to type it in, like if I go to the next one, all I would do is hit 19, 22, 25 and just continue until I have all of the values entered in. So once you have all of the values, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the data now that you know how to type it in. If you guys want to clear any information, you can just hit clear and enter and it will get rid of it. Okay, so if you want to pause the video and put all of these values into your calculator and then just resume watching once you have them all in your calculator. All right, now that you have all of your data in, what you are going to do is you're gonna hit stat and you're just gonna arrow over to calculate and choose option one. 
the one var stats. Um, some of you will not get this screen when you hit one var stats, and that's okay. Um, it defaults to L1, so as long as you used L1, you don't have to do anything but just hit enter afterwards. If you used a different list, you would just tell your calculator which list you used. And then just hit enter and X bar, the 21.13 would be our point estimate. So we can say that this is approximately 21.13. Make sure I wrote that down correctly. Okay. Um, and so then you would just write a sentence saying a point estimate for the mean number of hours student athletes spend on required athletic activities is approximately 21.13 hours per week. Okay, so just to recap, anytime you are looking for a point estimate for the population mean, you are always just going to calculate the sample mean. And I will create other videos that show what to do with this once you have a point estimate, because a lot of time our sample mean is not going to be the exact same as the population mean. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.